Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the Retro Wrestling Review Series. I'm Owen the Burman Finch, and this is... King Tut. And now we're going to be reviewing the Royal Rumble from 2003. Now, this actually was the first Royal Rumble to take place uh, during the uh, brand split. This was the first uh, double-branded Royal Rumble ever to take place in the history of WWE. Um, and... Pretty much this was being built, there was going to be 15 guys from Raw, 15 guys from SmackDown in this Rumble, and whoever won, whoever won the Rumble, uh, if someone went from Raw, they got the challenge for the World Heavyweight title, if it was someone from SmackDown, they got the challenge for the WWE title, because yep. those were the exclusive titles for their shows. So let's just get right into this uh, review. Uh, we had Taz, Michael Cole on commentary for SmackDown, and... Um, Jim Ross and Jerry the Kim Lawler on commentary for Raw. So obviously, Taz and Michael Cole commentated all the SmackDown matches, and JR and Jim. No, J JR and Jim Ross. JR and Lawler commentated all of the uh, Raw matches. So it opens up right with the video package. Each superstar talks about how they uh, want to get to WrestleMania, you know, whether that's being the Royal Rumble winner or. Um, the champion. Yep. Uh, you had uh, tri uh, Triple H talks about how he wants to get to the main event of WrestleMania. To which we said, "No, you don't want to get to the WrestleMania, Triple H. We don't. You don't want that." Uh, you had uh, Chris Jericho talk about it. Um, I've already lost my money, so Shawn Michaels talking about it. Big Show, Brock Lesnar, the Undertaker. I think it was the Undertaker. I'm not sure, but a lot of people were talking about it. Then we had the opening match on the show. I'll let you talk about the build-up and the match itself. It was Big Show with Paul Heyman inside versus Brock Lesnar in a Royal Rumble qualifying match. This was The winner was going to get the last spot in the match. Talk about the build-up and the match itself. So this is definitely a holdover from Survivor Series the year before where Big Show defeated Brock Lesnar for the WWE title with Paul Heyman screwed Brock Lesnar out of it. And Big Show lost it a month later. That seems to be a theme for Big Show. He loses yep. the belt almost as soon as he wins it. Yep. And except so, uh, in 2012, he didn't lose it. Except in 2012. Yeah. And then you have uh, so he's going to be f facing. So basically, Brock's going to be facing off against Big Show for yeah. the number one contendership. This was Brock's like first chance he got to it to get his hands on Big Show and, and Paul Heyman because he had been suspended. So yeah, and he needed to get the um the, his title back by entering the Rumble, which he eventually won by throwing Big Show around. Like you've seen Big Show and Brock Lesnar now. It's basically the same match. Yep. Uh, good, good opening matchup though. Uh, they really built up to Brock Lesnar getting his hands on Paul Heyman, which was a storyline that happened later on um, in 2013 with a different superstar. <laughs> so it's kind of funny how that Brock works. Lesnar, Brock so Lesnar cool. did it first. Um, yeah, Brock Lesnar won, and obviously we won't say what Brock Lesnar is because uh, he's still with the company. He's the Universal yeah. Champion right now. So um, Heyman's with them as his handler, and Big Show is currently still in the company. He's he, he just he's, he's going surgery. for surgery. I don't. know. He got the surgery. Overall, right. this match gets three stars. It was a good opening matchup. Two good way minutes. to um, good way to start off the match. The show. Then Chris Jericho gets interviewed, and he talks about how he chose to be the number two entrant in the Royal Rumble because Vince McMahon handpicked uh, Shawn Michaels to be number one, and he wants to go at it with Shawn Michaels. More on that later. Yeah. Then we had uh, a World Tag Team Championship match. World Tag Team Champions Lance Storm and William Regal versus the Dudley Boys. The reason for this match was the Dudley Boys just came back together because they had split them up originally during the brand split, but because neither one of them was doing very well um, on their own, they put them back together. Steve, something happened to Devon originally. He was hurt, so then they just put him right back on Raw. Yep. And uh, Vince McMahon gave him this title match. Um, the whole stick was that uh, William Weagle was going to possibly use those brass knuckles. Yep. Pretty decent tag team match here. No, nothing like especially special. One, we watched this off the network. The one thing that they cut out was uh, Devon's What's Up for some yeah. reason. Even though they kept it in like the <laughs> 2015 matches. Yep. Um, Bubba hits the Bubba Bomb to which uh, um, I believe he hit it on Lance Storm and William Regal broke up the pinfall before he, he could get the three it's count. Side, it's a side effect. It's the Dudley's version of the side effect. You know they're going to kick out of it. So why did William Regal bother breaking it up? I don't know. And then the uh, finish came when Chief Morley came out. I guess he was like the commissioner of law or something. Yeah, he was uh, uh, Bear Stop's right hand man yeah. at the time. And uh, the Dudley's hit the 3D on... Uh, W William Regal, but then behind the referee's back, D William Regal had grabbed brass knuckles, and Devon Dudley took him off. Regal hit Lance Storm off the scope with the knuckles. 
and got the win. I thought the finish kind of was a fuck finish because I was very confused about who the legal person was because I thought Regal was the legal man, but yeah, it was very... Yeah. It was Regal a very, hit with the 3D. Huh? Regal hit with the 3D. Yeah, so it was a very confusing finish, but all in all, I guess the right people went over um, because it was this was the Dudley's first title win back since we formed. Yep. Even though I, they, I, they just lost the titles, I think, a couple of weeks later. They lost it the very next night on Raw. Because Storm... I remember from what I remember, Storm and... Uh, Real. Well, the, well, Storm and Morley defended the Tigers at WrestleMania 19. Well, that, that's a whole different story. They lost the belt right back to Regal and Storm because Rise of this William Regal got really sick. Yeah. He had a very, very bad intestinal disease that kept him out for over a year. Yeah. And then um, Lance Storm, I think, didn't last much longer after this. I think he left yeah. the company after a while. And the Dudley boys. Could, they're, uh, all, they're, they're not in the company anymore, obviously. Yeah. No, and, Devon is. Devon's an agent backstage. Ah, uh, and, and Bubba's just, um... He's in the OH. Yeah. Possibly retire when I heard something happen on Bubba. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they came... But they did have one final... They left in 2005 and then uh, came back 10 years later, actually, in 2015. Because yep. then they went into TNA and all that what, stuff. What's, what's TNA? Um, uh, testing uh, Albert. That's what oh, they went to testing Albert. They started up their own company. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> um... So, yeah, overall, this match uh, gets uh, two and a half stars. It was solid tag team match. Decent match. Um, then we had the vignette for Nathan Jones. They were putting up this guy, like a, a guy that was just getting was out of prison. prison. Yep, he um, was. Which he was. And so they was he was hired by WWE. Obviously, you know that. He flopped. Yeah, so. He flopped. Yeah, so they were, build, they were really building him up, though. I'm going to talk about this match in the story because you get to talk about the other bad match on this show. So next match was Don Marie Wilson versus Tori Wilson. This was the first ever stepmother versus stepdaughter match. The reason why this happened was this was actually a feud that for some odd reason, uh, sometimes when it comes to bad feuds, the WWE likes to have them drag out. Um, Don Marie Wilson was uh, engaged to uh, Al Wilson, Tori Wilson's father. Tori Wilson yeah. did not want Don Marie Wilson and Al Wilson to get married because obviously she, uh, Don Marie was just using Al to make him look like a fool. Um, uh, so they, I think I think it was like a lesbian story. Line it was. Place. they try, uh, Don Marie tried to sleep with Tori Wilson. We assume it happens. I don't know. It cuts away. That was probably the best thing of the whole feud. Um, then uh, Don Marie and um, Al Wilson finally get married. And then... He died. He died because I guess she was so hot. Um, from he what had I understand. a heart attack. He had a heart attack, and uh, it looked like something you would see out of a horror movie with the way this package. This kind of drove Don Marie Wilson cuckoo a little bit. Um, so uh, during the funeral, Tori Wilson showed up, and she was like, Why are you here? We know the real reason that you're here. To which Taz said on commentary, Because it's her father. Um, yeah. So uh, she attacked him, and she said that she's going to... Uh, honor Al Wilson's last wishes, which was to beat up Toy Wilson. Beat up his daughter? Yeah, that's what that's what I got. Oh, so God, then we had the match. Um... This match sucked a c- well, actually, I don't want to... Su- sucked a cock. <laughs> yeah. It sucked. It was a three-minute match. Um, three minutes of Referee it. takes sure that Toy Wilson's physically able to go. Don Marie Wilson takes advantage and attacks her before the match. They hit Fujiwara on bars. T-bone suplexes and stuff like that. Then eventually the finish. Speaking of which, by the way, with all this feud, why the fuck was this just a regular wrestling match? That made no fucking sense. With everything yeah. that happened. Uh, but And after all that... Uh, to, um, after all that build, Tori Wilson wins with a fucking neck breaker. Yep. One star! Um, Don Marie Wilson, though, said that this wasn't over. And apparently, maybe it was over, because... Uh, where are they? Toy Wilson, I believe, has her own fitness app now. Yep. Um, and Don Marie Wilson... I have no clue what happened to Don Marie, actually. I'm not looking it up. <laughs> Fear what may pop up. Okay. Um, next, Stephanie McMahon's backstage. And she pops up to Eric Bischoff, who was talking to Randy Orton. Um, which was foreshadowing, because obviously after this, this pretty much led to Randy Orton being tra- um, traded to Raw. And we know what ha- we know what happened Evolution. with that. Yep. Um, they said they're doing the storyline where Bischoff was going to be fired thirty days if he did do something impressive. And he said he was going to announce, make a huge announcement. Seth and McMahon was bragging because uh, her job is safe because blood is thicker than water. Well, and then um, Eric Bischoff says that money is thicker than blood. 
And obviously this, uh, ironically enough, Stephanie McMahon was actually the one that got fired first. So, who, why were you bragging about it, Stephanie? Uh, fine segment that sets up uh, what happened on Raw and SmackDown the next Then we got a uh, video package for Sean O'Hare. Uh, one quote that I love that he said in this video package is, Why do you guys bother going to church if you guys claim that God's right next to you? But it was a very weird video package. He, fl- he flopped too, right? He flopped, yeah. Uh, he's retired now. Yep. And as for Stephanie McMahon, she's the uh, first. She's like the uh, the head of creative, I think. And yeah. Eric Bischoff retired. Yeah. And uh, Randy Orton. Uh, you miss he retired. Yeah. All right. This, this is all you. You can talk about the build up. We had a world heavyweight championship match. World heavyweight champion Triple H with Ric Flair ringside versus Scott Steiner. Talk about the build up, the match, and the aftermath. Oh boy! All you right. can say you can take the mic and say what happened, or you can give just... me the mic and a fin. No, 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 this is a joke, joke, joke. All right. So Scott Steiner was the free agent that both Raw and SmackDown wanted to sign. He eventually signed with Raw, and then he wanted to get a World Heavyweight Title match with Triple H. And then they had pose downs, arm wrestling, and a push up competition. Uh, basically, building up the story that Triple H is scared of Scott Steiner because Scott Steiner is an impressive looking specimen. Scott Steiner came in this match with a broken foot. I think it was like a fractured foot, I think it was. I don't remember what it was. Oh boy, here we go. This was Scott Steiner versus Triple H. This was 18 pissing minutes. And. Botches everywhere, suplexes everywhere, a botched butterfly suplex with the crowd booed. Scott Steiner looked slow, not ready to go. Clearly, he has not wrestled in two years. Um, then then the finishes happened. Uh, so, Triple H tries to get himself counted out, didn't work. Trying to get himself disqualified, didn't work. And then he finally got himself disqualified by hitting Scott Steiner with a hammer. It's like Shamo. A sludge hammer, so we get a fuck finish and a, a big old doozy fuck finish at the end of that whole thing. Oh shit, that is a big news story. I would get out of that so you can continue talking about the match. We might need to save that for the extra quarter. Teasing. Yeah. Teasing. Yeah, we might. As Check that show out. Of course. As for my biggest problem with this whole thing is it was largely just a botch fest. And this match sucked. At least Don Marie and. and I wish I called her even Marie. Corey <laughs> Wilson. At least it was, it was three minutes. Yep. This was 18. And it sucked. It had a fuck finish just to pop it all off. They had a, t- a match after this. Star. Single star after this whole thing. This sucked. Yep. We get, no, half a star. We said half, half a star. But that sucks. But uh, as a pun in terms of entertainment value. Oh, it's, it's fantastic to watch. If you are looking for bad wrestling to laugh at, that is by far the match you go to first. <laughs> Especially the Butterfly Super Place where Scott Center just <laughs> fell down. Oh, and another thing we laughed at in this match is when, tri- when Triple H throws Steiner into the steps the way that Steiner saw. <laughs> like he's dead. <laughs> The best move in this match was a big boot out of the corner. Yep. All right. Kurt Angle and yeah, he was on the search for the WWE title apparently. No, he he already had it. He already had it. He just walked out there and wrestled himself for nineteen minutes and forty nine seconds, and he was fantastic. Yeah. Kurt Angle's the man. He can carry anyone to a great match, and he can even himself. himself. <laughs> uh, highlights include him in the crossface. It. Uh, well, him, we, him. we 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 don't know what he was in. He was just he was just laying there. He he tried, He put like an him invisible. Do, him doing a couple flips. Yep. Him uh, do h- hitting the angle slam on nobody. Yep. Twice. Um, yeah. Uh, the him angle hit. lock, like the great fine angle lock, which yeah. I didn't finish. Four and three quarter. This match is fantastic. Yeah. Um. Afterwards, uh, somebody just got a standing ovation too. The the fans are just cheering for the ring. Yeah. They're happy that the ring was happy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right. Uh. Next was uh. The Royal... Rob, no, Rob Van Dam backstage. He's doing a split. Kane comes up and says, I know you're my tag team partner, but if it comes down to it, I will not hesitate uh, to eliminate you from the Royal Rumble match. Um, I want to cover... I do want to cover the Rumble. We'll at least take turns covering the Rumble. Okay. 
So then we had the Royal Rumble match. Now, obviously, you can't really say build up for the Royal Rumble match. It's the Royal Rumble. You know what it is. Yeah, so. When we get to the title shot at the WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah. That's basically what it was. But there's no, like, uh, one thing that was coming out of this Rumble was, obviously, this was uh, The Undertaker's return from being uh, thrown off the stage by... The Big Show. The Big Show. Uh, even though it was, he wasn't in this match, which was kind of weird. Um, so, uh, I'll get into the uh, match. So, obviously, as we mentioned... Uh, Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho started off the match. However, and I want to mention this too, uh, only Jerry Lawler and uh, J- Jerry Lawler and Jr. did commentary for this match. It was only a raw commentary rumble, which is kind of weird because normally when it's a rumble, all brands do commentary for it, but not this time. So um, Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho started the match, and um, I'll cover like the first ten entrances, and then you can cover like the next ten, and then we can both cover the next one, ten. So, uh, Chris, um, Chris Jericho makes his entrance, but we see that it's Christian disguised as Chris Jericho. So, Shawn Michaels gets confused. Jericho sneaks up behind him, hits a low blow on him, and he beats the shit out of Shawn Michaels, hits him off the skull with the steel chair, and he eliminates him. And doing this, uh, number three came out, Christopher Nowinski. Christopher Nowinski doesn't come in for a while. Um, Ben Ray Mysterio makes his entrance. Him and Jericho had a good exchange. Then next was Edge. Edge and Jericho looked really strong in this Royal Rumble uh, match. And then uh, Christian fully came in. It was a real entrance this time. You figured how awful Christian's theme song used to be. Then it was Chavo Guerrero. Then it was Tajiri. Then it was Bill DeMott. Bill DeMott was eliminated by Edge with a spear. Uh, no, no, it wasn't a spear. It was just a, he uh, was eliminated. Um, Tommy Dreamer, he came out with the weapons. He hit Jericho off the head with a kendo stick. Um... To which that busted uh, Jericho open. And then uh, Jericho and Christian, they were tag team partners in this match. They were, I was going to say they were the world tag team champions, but they actually weren't. Um, and uh, they hit uh, they hit like a concerto with trash cans onto uh, Tommy Dreamo and they eliminate him. Um, Edge eliminates Chavo Guerrero at the time. Guerrero and Eddie Guerrero were the WWE tag team champions on SmackDown. And uh, Chris Jericho eliminates Tajiri in this match when he goes for his tarantula and he just gets eliminated. What an idiot Tajiri was to do the tarantula. Uh, so then uh, Edge and Christian, they wanted to do a spot where they were going to reunite, but Edge and Christian, Edge isn't having it. So uh, Edge and Christian try to eliminate each other. Uh, Jericho eliminates Rey Mysterio, Edge and Christian, and then it's just down to Chris Jericho. Uh, B Squared came into this match, um, and Edge eliminates him, and then the next entrance. Yeah, okay, so next we have Rob Van Dam, who went to just fighting with um, uh, Chris Jericho. Then we have Matt Hardy, V1. This is during the V1 gimmick. Comes up with Shannon Moore. Yep. Uh, Eddie Guerrero, rest his soul. Uh, Jeff Hardy, who was heel. Rosie, who was a half a member of Three Minute Warning. He's dead now. Um, Test, who is unfortunately dead now. John Cena came out and cut an awful rap. Charlie Haas came out, had a uh, decent show. And you have Rikishi doing a couple stink faces in, um, at his uh, own cousin's face. Yep, which the cousin did not like. Apparently. And then, um, so then uh, uh, one spot, RVD, uh, I'm not sure if this happened, but, then the, but RVD uh, was going to hit the five-star frog splash on uh, Matt Hardy. But Shannon Moore comes in and uh, puts no, himself... No, Swanton. It was Jeff Hardy and Swanton. Oh, yeah. So Jeff Hardy, uh, he was going to put himself over Matt Hardy to sacrifice himself, but Matt Hardy wouldn't get hurt, so Hardy just hits the Swanton anyways onto Shannon Moore. But that just added more weight, and it hurt a lot more. <laughs> so, um, eliminations included... Uh, uh, Booker T eliminated uh, Eddie Guerrero. I don't think he was in the match yet. But, no, it wasn't. So then the next few entrances were uh, Jamal, another member of Three Minute Warning. Kane. Uh, Kane eliminates, uh, I believe, Rosie. Um, then it was. Uh, yep. Then he choke slams Wico, uh, who wasn't in the match. And then he eliminates. Uh, he double choke slams Matt Hardy and Shannon Moore. And Kane looked like a pretty. Mo- um, like a monster in this match. Uh, but it doesn't count as a. F- and this was a four star match, but it doesn't count for Kane because it wasn't a one on one match. Yep. Then it was uh, Shelton Benjamin. Every time they came out, I kept thinking it was Code Angle because uh, I forgot they used to have uh, his theme. <laughs> then it was Booker T. Then it was A Train, Maven, Goldust, Batista. You could totally see that Batista uh, really was really green when, in this Rumble. Uh, then it, number twenty nine was Brock Lesnar. The number, winner. Number thirty was the Undertaker. So the Rumble continues. 
Uh, any like highlights of the Rumble from elimination wise or anything before? We uh, well, of course I want to point out Chris Jericho's near eliminations like eight times. Yeah. Yep. Um, Shawn Michaels comes back in this match because I don't want you to lose your hundred bucks, so I'm gonna. I've already lost mine, so. And uh, he beats up Chris Jericho and Test. I think we forgot to mention Test is. I did. Entrance. I raised oh, it. Okay. Eliminates Jericho, so Michaels. Gets, so Jericho gets pissed. Michaels dives over the ropes and beats up Chris Jericho. So this obviously was. To set up the match at WrestleMania that had fantastic build-up. That apparently some, some person on this show says that didn't have a fantastic build-up. Yep. Um, other things, uh, A-Train actually lasted a long time in this Rumble. They tried to recreate the elimination with Maven eliminate The Undertaker when he did the drop kick, But this time, Taker, went, he wasn't having that this time. Nope. So Taker just choke slammed him and eliminated Maven. Taking shit, man. Um, he taking shit. So then Taker had a lot of eliminations. He eliminates Jamal. Um... Yeah, and uh, then Brock Lesnar eliminates Matt Hardy with an F5 over the top rope. F5. Taker eliminates John Cena, which uh, was a funny thing. A lot of people uh, went, af- went right after Cena in this match, too. It's like, yep. it's like they were Almost trying to... Almost immediately. Yep. Uh, Goldust got eliminated by Benjamin and uh, Haas. Uh, one thing I liked is that Brock Lesnar actually eliminated uh, Benjamin and Haas, which I thought made sense because of obviously the where they were going. Um then then it comes down to the final six. And yes, I'm not kidding you. This was the final six. A train. Albert. Um you, you just you really want to call him Albert, so his name is Albert. Yep. A train, The Undertaker, Brock Lesnar, Batista, um Kane. Van Dam. Van Dam. They eliminated so, A Train, obviously. Huh? They eliminated Albert. Yep. And then talk about you could uh, you want to talk about the final moment in the rumble? Okay, so we get to so, so now it's down so to Van Dam final and, five. So Van Dam and Kane are working together, and they th- it already thought it'd be a fantastic idea to jump up in the Kane's arms in a press slam, where Kane was gonna slam onto Batista, but no, Kane turned around and threw him out of the ring and eliminated him. RVD, you effing moron! I feel like he forgot about the backstage he segment. He that forgot they about it, obviously. Next elimination was Batista. He got eliminated by Taker with a clothesline over the top rope. Batista came in with this. And then he, then, uh, he came in with a steel chair. Was gonna hit him, hit Taker with a steel chair, but Taker countered with a big boot. He got Kane up and said, "Hey, let's go eliminate Brock." And as Kane was walking over, Undertaker grabs him, throws him over the top rope, and while he's looking down upon him, uh, Brock comes over and eliminates him. And Brock wins. Yeah. Brock wins. So uh, we have to mention what every so I'll just we'll play some hot shot in. So Shawn Michaels, where is he? Retired. Retired. Chris Jericho. Still at the company. Uh, on a part-time basis, kind of. Yeah. Christopher Nowinski. Retired. Rey Mysterio Indies. Edge retired. Christian retired. Job was in Indies. Yeah. Tajiri is in Indies. Well, he was Bill DeMond is retired. He's actually fired now. Thanks yep. a lot, you asshole. Tommy, Tommy Dreamer, Dreamer is his own. Indies. Yep. B Squared is retired. I think he's, did we say he was retired? Yeah, we did. I think we looked it up. Yeah. Uh, Bob Van Dam. Uh, Indies. Indies. Matt Hardy. WWE. Identity Crisis. Yeah. He just returned uh, in 20... Earlier this year. Maybe. Yeah. Indies unfortunately passed away. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy is obviously in, is yeah. having shoulder problems. Rosie is dead. Tess um, is dead. dead. Wow. Two... That's kind of sad. Yeah. John Cena. Face of the company. Yep. Haas Charlie Haas. Is retired. Uh, Rikishi's in the Hall of Fame. Jamal's dead, unfortunately. Uh, Kane is running for mayor. But he's still with the company. He's still with the company. Though. Yeah, Shelton Benjamin just recently returned, and he's in the exact same role as he was the, uh, ten years ago. Booker T's a commentator. A Train is a Albert is currently a Ben Train of NXT. Maven. Do we, we ever look up what Maven was? I said oh, Indies. Indies. Yeah. Goldust was... is in WWE. Batista, Batista is after. retired in the movies. But yeah, this is. I'll, I'll say this. Batista. They definitely showed that they were pl- they had big plans for Batista by this Rumble match. <sighs> Brock, they Brock is currently the Universal said, Champion. Yeah, we already and said Taker is just recently retired. retired. So uh, obviously, uh, this led to to the match between Brock and Angle at Mania. Thumbs up show. Um, this show was really good. Thumbs up. I give it an eight out eight out of ten. Uh, maybe seven because of the fucking oh, matches yeah. on the show. Because two of the matches. The two last matches definitely saved this show. Yep. Um. So yeah, seven out of ten. I forgot about the two of the matches. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but overall, that's our review. No plugs, because we got more coming, so say bye, John.